use the streaks to never forget something important again. We never plan to forget things, but somehow our memories sometimes fail us and then we are left to struggle and rack our brains so hard to remember certain things. For instance, not being able to recall phone numbers, birthday dates of some of your loved ones, forgetting to return that call or send the email and the likes. Have no panic, however, because according to a four-time US memory champion Nelson Dillis, there is nothing wrong with your memory. Dillis said and I quote, We all have a good memory. The problem is no one taught us how to use it. Dillis holds the record for remembering the most names, memorizing 201 in 15 minutes. I can tell that you are probably wondering how he achieved that. Well. Dillis became inspired to train his memory after his grandmother passed away with Alzheimer's disease sometime in 2009. According to him, she had been of sound mind just 10 years before, he says. I didn't want that to happen to me. I wanted to find something I could do now that would prolong my brain health. Eventually, he entered the championship to measure how quickly his memory had improved. Unlike Dillis, you don't have to memorize over 200 names to improve your memory. However, using certain tricks like Dillis will enable you to reach your memory gain goals sooner. In this video, I'll share with you tricks to help you never forget something important again. This, I believe, will help you become a successful person. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. One attach emotions to it. Memory works better if there's a feeling associated with it, says Daniel G. Amen, medical doctor and assistant clinical professor of psychiatry and human behavior at the University of California in Arvin and author of The Making a Good Brain Great. When asked what's the most embarrassing thing that has ever happened in a person's life, or what has been the best moment of a person's life from birth to their current status, nearly all if not everyone can answer such questions. Have you ever wondered why? It's simple. Those experiences are connected with their emotions. Dellis said, most people can recall a traumatic or memorable event. It's not some sort of superhuman memory. In those instances, there was something special and our brain absorbed that better. 90% of your day is not interesting. You need to turn it into something memorable. For instance, say you want to go pick up a few items from the grocery store, one of which is ketchup. Now, imagine how you will feel if you accidentally spill some on your white t-shirt. That feeling will be a reminder not to forget that item when you eventually get to the store. 2. Make it exciting by involving your senses. Another trick to help you remember something is to make yourself feel it is exciting by involving your senses. Attach your sense of smell, taste or touch to whatever you're trying to remember. For instance, say you need to get a box of pizza down the road right after work. You can trick yourself to remembering by imagining how cheesy you like your pizza to be and also imagine the burning feeling against your tongue just the way you like it. I bet you won't forget to pick it up. Dellis says, give it a color and make it as real as possible. If you want to remember a name, come up with a picture of what the word could represent. Mason has his special trick of making things excited. According to him, when I need to do something later, I switch my wedding band to the other hand as a memory trigger. Knowing I won't forget about it allows me to fully focus on other things, so I don't forget those either. 3. Write it down Writing it down seems like a situation of poor memory, but it is not. Maybe a little old-fashioned, but an effective method. When you jot something down and the brain acknowledges the word or phrase, then it becomes easy for the brain to make a connection, which will be responsible for sending a signal when you need to search your memory file. Besides, writing it down doesn't make you feel stressed or under any form of pressure to remember things. The less stressed you feel, the easier it is to remember things when you want to remember them. 4. Make a map of where you keep things. Have a designated spot 
for different items in your house or office space. This way, you'll never beat yourself up or waste time trying to remember where you put those items. When you organize your space and ensure that everything's properly decluttered, you'll find out that you are also making more room in your brain for the things you do need to remember. Your brain has a way of syncing with the things you do physically. 5. Do one thing at a time Although most of us can avoid a busy lifestyle, learning to concentrate on one thing at a time will help you feel less clumsy and when you feel less clumsy, you won't forget things easily. Memory is about paying attention. Dillis said, We live in a day where our attention span is very fickle because there's so much coming at us all the time. Force yourself to be laser focused on one thing at a time. So, if you find yourself struggling with recording things, you should try any of these tricks and tell us which of them worked for you. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We love you.